Ask me how many videos I've filmed. I actually just almost published one that didn't have any audio. So that's how my Tuesday is going. Uh, this is, uh, I'm, today I'm talking about Canva and how to utilize Canva and to create embedded templates into Canvas. Okay, so Canva is the art site that um, Jordan School District, we have free access to um, the premium account through our teacher emails. Okay, so you can see like it's very art heavy, but it's a good way to mix things up in your classroom and you can do some fun assessments and really get the kids to uh, explore their creative side in your classroom, okay, which they really enjoy. So you can see here, this is the template the students are able to see when they click on that link, it would force them to create a copy of that template. And then from there, they would be creating a, um, an art project or whatever, depending on what your class is. Okay, so first step is going to canva.com. Don't put the S on, because then you'll be right where we just were. Okay, and so you can see there's lots of different templates that are pre-made, even our school district has one, um, or different templates that have been made. So I really like infographics though. Okay, so you can do infographic, right? And then it'll pop up with all the different infographics that are available. And you can even just get specific, right? So I'm sure if I do farm infographic, there'll be some stuff. Okay, so let's say I'm like, oh, this is the one. I really like the farm one. So I'm gonna click on that and open it up after I've logged in. So you can see my login's been done up here. So once you use your school login, it should give you access to all the premium features. Okay, so you can see there's lots of different editing I can do so I can be like, Top chickens for laying eggs. So my chickens just started laying and we're excited about it. Okay, so like I can change, I can change whatever I want on here. You can play around with it, but you know, you can change, let's say I want students to put like favorite sheeps. Are there different types of sheeps? I'm sure there are. Okay, so um, there's pink sheep, see? That's a dog sheep. Okay, so as I create this template, right, and do whatever I want to make it cool, again, there's lots of different options. Okay, and then I can hit file and save, right? So maybe I want to change this first though. Chicken lane. Okay, um, and then I hit save. Now, you don't have to necessarily do that. This is, it has a lot of cool features, like it's just like Google Drive where I can have different folders and whatnot. But just for simplicity, if I've just opened it up with my account, that should be all I really need. And then just on top of that, this is a live document. So as I change things on this template, it would automatically reflect on, st on students' uh, accounts or on the template, if that makes sense. So I'll show you an example. Uh, so step two, after I've created my template that I want, I'm gonna go back to my canvas where I go to create assignments. Okay, so depending on what module you wanna do, so for instance, if I wanted to put it right here, I'm gonna hit that plus sign, it's gonna be an assignment, and I'm gonna call it chicken laying. I will not publish this, because then students will be like, wait, what's the assignment about chicken laying? Okay, so as you open it up, this is where I can go to edit. Okay, so I'm gonna edit, and then we're just looking for this little plug. So once you click on that, you if you've used it before, it'll pop up right here, but if you haven't, you just click view all, and you can see there's lots of cool things that you can um, embed into your assignments, but I'm gonna click on the Canva for education. And then it's gonna, after I sign in, it's gonna populate with um, my different templates. So if I click on the chicken laying, okay, and then I always embed, cause then students can see the uh, template, right, before they click on it. Sometimes students are wary of like a, a link, right? And then once I click on that, I have an option for view design or new design for each student. So I'm gonna do new design for each student because then it's a, like a template. Okay, so um, you can see like, this is what I just was editing, right? So just to give you an example though, if I wanted to change, let's say I said, pigs are Danny Zercher. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so, um, and then obviously I wanna always save it. So it automatically saves sometimes, but so then um, after I save this, oh, real quick, um, as far as submitting goes, I would always do online and file uploads for this, just because there is a way they're supposed to be able to just submit it through Canva, but it's a pain in the butt sometimes. So I would just do file uploads online, okay? But then, yeah, once I hit save, you can see that the changes I made, right? Pigs or Danny's or <laughs> that sentence doesn't even make sense, but, um, 
it changes, right? So if I, if I already create this assignment and then later on I'm like, oh, we actually didn't cover this last thing I thought we would, so I'm just gonna delete that section. Like That's totally fine and the students will not be able to see it. Okay, so that is uh, how to embed a Canva template into Canvas. So hopefully that helps you out in creating some uh, creativity in your classroom, but also just adding some different tools under your tool belt. So thanks, have a great day.